Well, we begin this morning with the latest developments out of Southwest Houston, where a couple and their daughter killed overnight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lisa Hernandez. And Amanda Sirota, we're told a second child was also hurt, but able to call for help. This happened on Fondren and Ludington late last night. KPRC 2's Kathy Hernandez live there now with the very latest in this investigation. Good morning. Now, police are looking for the shooter here. I want to show you this is a closer look as to where it happened. This is the apartment where those three family members were killed. Very devastating situation here. Relatives gave us this picture of the family. The victims are the father, Gregory Carhe. The mother is Donyevia Lagway and their six-year-old daughter, Harmony, seen here in the middle of the two parents. Lyric is their 10-year-old daughter on the bottom left, who is also shot but survived and managed to call for help after the shooting. A horrific tragedy. A mother, father, and their six-year-old daughter shot to death. The only survivor was a 10-year-old girl. She was also shot but played dead until the gunman left. It's devastating. My, my little niece, is, but she's brave. She's very brave. Relatives say a man knocked on the door of the family's apartment on Fondren and Lunnington at about 1030 last night. They say the father answered the door, carrying their one-year-old baby boy. My niece told him he had the wrong apartment. And he, and said, he grabbed the baby out the dad's arm, sit him on the sofa, and that's when he started shooting. The man killed the father, mother, and their six-year-old daughter. He shot their 10-year-old daughter in the arm. I don't even think I could have did what she did. I mean, she, she didn't panic. She played the wait till the guy left, locked the door, got her baby, and called her grandmother. She FaceTimed her grandmother, and she told her grandmother, I've been shot, mama and daddy, and harmony. Her baby brother was not hurt. The family is left with many questions. Who could cause such a tragedy, and why? And family members have been here all morning in and out of that apartment as well. As for the investigation at last check, the shooter was still on the run. Investigators said they do have surveillance video and they are hoping that it'll help in this investigation. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. Beyond heartbreaking for that family and the community, Kathy, thank you so much.